guess who finally found their bigger camera Woo! if you haven't been watching me for a long time this is the camera that i was using for years and then i got used to using my regular vlog camera because this camera that i'm filming on is a um more of a photography camera while the other one is more for thank you more for you know videos and stuff like that oh but that is not the point of this video i'm putting on a little bit of makeup honestly for no real reason only because i just want to be honest in this video more just like honest with myself i'm not doing good i don't feel good i'm going through a lot in my life it's taking a toll on me mentally and it doesn't help that my camera gave out on me because I feel like that was the one thing that I could control, which was um, making videos. And then that happened. Like, as I'm filming something, I'm like, okay, I could probably do regularly. I don't know why I put on this expensive foundation when I'm literally just going to leave the house for, like, probably 30 minutes and then come back home. Sorry if the beginning of this video was either blurry or too close or whatever one of the main reasons why i stopped using this camera is because i can't see what i'm doing like the viewfinder works but it just doesn't flip out that's why i used that other camera for so long and i also used to use my older macbook as a viewfinder as well but i actually don't have space to actually place that macbook so <laughs> yeah also it's very old and it low-key has a hard time running thank you to all the people who you know have been either leaving comments or messaging me uh, positive sentiments from my healing inner beauty video want to know a secret that actually was supposed to become a series but once again my vlog camera crapped out on me like i literally had three or four ideas that i wanted to film for that series and I need my vlog camera and I can't use my phone because it is a struggle just to even get clips from my phone onto my computer because I have a Android phone but I have a MacBook. I think this probably wasn't smart but whatever. Also this video that you're watching wasn't the original video that I wanted to film. I had another video idea that I kind of was going to wing because I was like you know what Sarah you have to stop waiting for perfection which is true but also the way I'm feeling mentally I wouldn't be able to actually focus really on that video the way I want to. So I was thinking you know maybe doing this video would help me get my thoughts out. I also thought about filming on my MacBook. I thought about it but you know I have the camera so I might as well not only am I filming this for me mentally but maybe someone else is kind of going through something similar I'm not gonna really talk about the exact thing that's <coughs> not the exact thing that's bothering me because you know some things in my personal life I just want to keep to myself and it's not a guy so whew, thank god because with all the stuff I'm going through, if I, guy problems will be the least of my worries. Like, no. Am I going to put eyeshadow on? To be honest, I don't feel like it. But life has been, in funny words, life has been lifing. But in reality, seriously, life has been getting really difficult and hard for me. I'm also trying to get more comfortable for asking for help because I usually suffer in silence. Like, what's the point of suffering in silence when... You know, there are people who could help if possible, but it's just hard when either you're taught to not ask for help or society at large makes you feel that if you ask for help, then you are weak when in all honesty it's not really true i mean we humans we we need help sometimes and if we can't help we should be able to offer help also it's kind of just me not believing in myself that I could actually solve my own problems. Not saying that like don't what well, it kind of goes back to the suffering silence thing. Oh no! So like I am capable enough to solve my problems. And also, why am I talking while I put on mascara when um this could go horribly wrong? I'm still gonna keep talking. 
I just hope that in the future I could look back on all of this and first off tell y'all what has been going on in my life during this time you know laugh or just look, look in hindsight there you're gonna be okay this whole time you're going to be okay like you didn't know that at this point your life was going to change and you know honestly during these situations i feel like oh yes it's going to be the point where my life changes and then like it doesn't <laughs> or it does it in the way that i think it's going to also because of media you know you know tv shows and movies they always portray someone they're going to like through a super super rough time and then their life changes now, i wouldn't say that hasn't completely happened for me I mean, it has happened, kind of thinking of 2022, well, 2022 to 2023, kind of what happened. It's also like, yeah, can we um get that again, <laughs> please? Also, why is it so easy to believe in other people, but not easy to believe in myself? Like I said, I want to make this video so then like, you know, other people going through the same thing or something similar, vague situation that I'm not explaining um, is going through to hopefully tell people or show people that they're not alone but like it's so easy for me to believe in either my friends or strangers than to believe in myself and it's like I could see that with other people like oh yeah they're definitely going to be able to get out of that situation but for some reason I can't see that with me you know this is a conversation for a therapist if I could afford a therapist but I can't so um hi talking to y'all about it you know maybe if I looked at myself as a stranger maybe then I'll actually believe that I could actually accomplish and achieve and do all the things that you know I want to do maybe I don't know maybe that's not even the best thing either you know life is just hard right now and I know it's not just me, not in just in my own situation, but just looking broader in life, everyone and like pretty much almost everyone in the world is going through something horrible. I mean, we literally just came back from a global, I don't know if I could say the word, so global panini, um, not trying to make light of the situation, just, just in case YouTube just in case um but yeah we literally just came back from a global panini and now we're having a whole at least at the bare minimum national economic crisis but really it's a global economic crisis because i've been seeing videos of like other countries and their stuff and what's happening should i put on a highlight probably not and of course the wars and everything maybe this doesn't make sense put on a highlight right here when i have no shadow on don't want to put highlight on my face though honestly not really i'm gonna put on clear gloss because i don't feel like dealing with other lip products right now you know i hope everything gets better soon for everyone for me honestly and this does sound selfish and i don't want it to sound selfish but it probably will in order to actually you know help everyone else you kind of have to help yourself first it's like yes i i obviously want everything for everyone to get better and for all of us to stop suffering but it's like i'm putting so much mental energy and emotional energy into others that i'm pretty much neglecting myself it's like you have to you can't pour from an empty cup there you go you have to actually like fill your own cup first and that's what i'm trying to remind myself that i need to fill my own cup first before i like go and worry about everyone else and it's hard because not only do i you know care for other people but it's also in a way to distract myself from me as well as to care for other people because once again i believe in other people more than i believe in myself and you know a therapist will help me figure this out <laughs> also quick hair update my hair is actually growing we are actually on the bangs past my nose past the tip of my nose uh next month is when i'm actually supposed to be trimming my hair i'm trying not to take scissors at it right now and i'm also trying to rethink on how i'm gonna cut at least my bangs everything in life at least in my current life it's just it's it's hard to be positive when everything is so doom and gloom even the weather right now is super gloomy if you didn't know i'm also an actor and 
the industry is not looking good at all. I did have some good news from an audition. I was put on a veil for a commercial, which if you don't know what that means, quick explanation. It means that um, the client liked my performance. They wanted to know my availability and whatever other little information um, because they're highly considering me, hiring me for the job. But it's not just me. It's probably other actors as well that they're considering. I don't know. And so far, it's looking like I didn't get it because uh, shoot day is, looks like it's happening pretty soon. And uh, yeah, but at least that's something that I could give myself be like hey Sarah you did really good in the performance the performance part you did really good at so that's a good sign you may have not booked the job and that's fine but performance wise you did a great job and I'm also trying to network more like I've been going to more events mostly because I just want to try to practice my networking skills I don't like networking uh, I don't know a lot of people who actually like, like networking which also makes me feel a little bit better because I thought I was the only one that's like I'm the odd one because I don't like networking or I despise it I really do despise it to be honest I come to find out a lot of people don't like networking almost everybody doesn't like networking um but it's something we gotta do and the last event that I went to I think it's because since I went in with only the objective of I just want to work on my networking skills instead of actually getting something out of it a couple years ago I went to an event and I was really seeking for rep like either from a manager or an agent so I was hoping to get something out of it I got in contact with two agents and they didn't end up working out and that crushed my soul this time around since I already have an agent it's like I'm not interested in looking for an agent I'm not honestly interested in looking for a manager either so since I just went in it's like I just want to talk to people and just see how I actually do with this network thing and I feel like I did pretty good met some cool people may have an in on a place that is hard for literally anybody to get in also my brain just did that thing right now where it's like oh I'm talking about all the good and immediately I started thinking of all like the bad that outweighs the good also another good thing is I have a green stock planner and I just recently planted it even though I bought it on Black Friday um, but I just recently planted it and I planted, well not planted the green stalk, I set up the green stalk, I planted some seeds and I have some stuff sprouting which is so cool. I did overseed almost every single pocket so that's going to be fun, a fun problem for me to have to deal with um, soon. So yeah, I have arugula sprouting and kale sprouting. Um, but I have like a bunch of different stuff growing because once again, I overseeded about every single pocket. I'm going to have to thin out so many things. This felt good to actually say what I needed to say, get it out of me because if I let it fester, I feel like it's going to hurt. Even though that life is hard, we're all going through a rough time and I'm going through a rough time and I'm still struggling with believing in myself and telling myself that I'm capable of doing and going after what I want. There's always good somewhere, right? There is definitely always good somewhere. Thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, here is the video I was talking about, the healing inner beauty video that was supposed to become a series. It might still become a series, just have to figure out my camera. And then here's another video that YouTube thinks that you would like.